Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today I'm going to do flip throughs of some books that I have not seen on YouTube. Uh, these are, I'll get to the publisher information in a minute. These are all Myth and Magic books. We've got Myth and Magic Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. I bought the Sight Unseen. I did see there was somebody, I wish I could tell you who, but I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure it's somebody who buys a lot of stuff, though. Uh, they said they picked up Myth and Magic Volume 2, and they flipped through it very quickly, you know, kind of like that. And I saw, oh, I saw the steampunk lady, whom I'll never find. Oh, there we go, with the glasses. And I'm like, ooh, I kept hitting rewind, re rewind, rewind uh, to try to figure out what was in the book. So... I finally ordered them, tracked down the company. I had to wait for them to get volume two on their site. They had really good customer service. I tell that story, I think, in part three of my February haul, if you're interested in hearing it. Um, but because they had such good customer service, I just ordered all three. The company that puts this out is, where does it say? is Media Lab Publications. I know it says Topics Media Lab here, but if you Google it, it just says Media Lab Publications, and you can go to this site on newsstandsnow.com. When you do, what comes up is Media Lab Publications. You can click there and put in adult coloring books, and these will come up. So. I'll, I'll put the link for you in the, in the description. So we're going to do a flip through of all three of these. And the paper is weird. It's really, really thin and very rather textury. I thought, oh, I was so scared when I first got it because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to, it's going to be terrible. But I did a test with my Prismacolors. That's always the test. And I'll try to zoom in here for you. They came out beautifully. They weren't as easy as some books like Lulu Mayo's. They just glide on effortlessly. And some other books I have, they glide on effortlessly. It wasn't like that. It was more like um, just your average page where they, they just blend well. You don't have to work too hard. Maybe like a Joanna Bassford or a Kirby Roseanne's page. Although the paper is way thinner. I don't think this paper is going to be good for wet mediums at all seems like if you dropped water on it, it would dissolve. <laughs> I'm not going to test it. Um, but somebody out there may test it. We shall see. So, it worked great for my Prismacolors. I had no problems with them. I felt they blended They blended just fine. Not effortlessly, but, but very fine. So let's get to the flip through. I generally flip through very slowly, but since I have three to do, I'm going to flip through a little bit faster. If I'm going too fast, you can slow it down. I usually talk throughout my flip throughs, but the, there's three books here, so I'm probably not going to say too much. I'm just going to, I'm just going to flip. So we have cover image. The generally the same cover image is right there. These are perforated, so in case you want to tear stuff out, you can. That's a big double page spread. Or it's just a mirror, I think it's just a mirror image, actually. Looks like a double page spread. All right, so I'll try to get you centered here. They, they, they give a, they give a explanation of where their books come from. It says, certain photographs used in this publication are used by license or permission from the owner thereof or are otherwise publicly available. So I don't know what that means. Maybe it's some kind of shutter stock kind of thing. Sorry, I was moving you in a little bit there for a better view. Oops, sorry, shook the camera. All right, and you can tell they have different artists that they use. They pepper, they kind of pepper them throughout the, the, 
the book but it's kind of clear that like this artist did some other images in here there are a few repeating images in volume one and volume two we'll try to figure out what those are I do like the variety of different artists. Sometimes books get old when they're done by the same person and they're just slightly different than the last thing, but this gives you a good bit of variety. Nice tree picture. Of course, I always like the trees. You've got architecture, fantasy animals, fantasy people, Whoever this artist is, I do like their stuff. Very detailed. I wouldn't necessarily cover color every detail in this person's artwork. I would leave a lot of it for texture. Hmm, I might have zoomed in too much. I'll zoom you out a smidge. Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Really nice. This image is repeated in Myth and Magic 2. Although if you're going to repeat an image, this is a good one to do. I think maybe there's three or four images repeated. Maybe five. There's a lot of images in here. I don't remember how many, perhaps it said 40, I can't remember, and I haven't counted. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I like that one. Again, I pointed out this artist before. I liked the crop nature of this one. We don't see, it's zoomed in. We, we know it's a circle, but we don't see the whole circle. I think it's more effective than a bunch of white space around it. So even though this paper was thin, when I colored with my Prismacolors, I did not get all those white spaces that you get from Amazon books that you just can't get it into those, those little holes. So it's different than Amazon paper. Although still thin, but it is one-sided, so people who like their alcohol markers can certainly use those, I would think. I'm not really certain about water-based markers on here. I feel like the paper would just dissolve or would peel really easily, but I don't know. I didn't test it. That's very stained glass windowy. I'm pretty pleased with this purchase. I really like these three books. I believe maybe this image is in the other book. I'm not sure what's going on here. This is a tree and that's a guy, the sword, but what's this back here? If you know, put it in the comments. <laughs> the 
there's a little ghost in the tree. I think maybe this one goes this way. Yes, I like the variety in these books. And that is it, just the company information. All right, we're off to Myth and Magic two volume two this one was in volume one I'm not sure maybe My favorite picture. I like that one so much. I believe this was in volume one, but it was more zoomed out. Maybe. And was this one in volume one or is it different? I'm not sure. That's the, no, that was the cover page of volume one. I don't remember if this was in volume one. That was in volume one, I think. I'm not sure which way it goes. No, I think it goes this way. For me now, they're all blending together. I don't think this was in volume one, but I could be wrong. These trees are really cool.
I believe this was in volume one, except it was more zoomed out. Maybe. And this was, yeah, this was in volume one just like this. I believe earlier in this book there was a zoomed in one of this. It's an effective picture, though. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it seems like we've seen this picture before as well. All right, that was Myth and Magic Volume 2. And let's see, Myth and Magic Volume 3. This one is a departure. It's a little different from the other two. I don't think there's many repeated images, although I could be wrong. I don't know. Here we have, oh, a double page spread for the This Book Belongs To page. Oh, sorry. Let me get that in screen for you mostly. All right. They're using some of the same artists, but I think they bring in some different artists as well. And there's some that are a little more sci-fi in this book. Like this seems a little more sci-fi-ish than in the previous book. It has a slightly different feel to it. The same, but slightly different. I like it. That's a really good picture. Oh, that's really good, too. I don't generally like people, but there's so little of her skin to worry about that I would probably like that. It's a good place to start for me. Another good picture. I like the people riding animals. This is really good. Little bridge with a swan. Nice. I do like how they zoom in on some of these. That's very effective. It's a good art trick. I often have my students employ that one. That was the cover image. You don't see many girls smoking a pipe. I really like this one. It's very sci-fi-ish. This one is very similar to one we've seen before, but she's different. The flames are by her hands. 
here. So it's probably the same artist, but slightly different. I really like the zoomed in nature of this one. Oh, this is a lovely little scene. Like I said, I really like the variety in these books. A little bit of architecture, a little bit of people, animals. Really good. This one's good. We may have seen this picture before. It's hard to tell. Some kind of potion. Oh, I didn't know what this was. Okay, this makes more sense. And that's where I did my Prismacolor test. Like I said, they worked very well there. They're not effortless, but they don't take a lot of work. I didn't give myself carpal tunnel working on this paper like, like on Amazon paper. So they blended very nicely. Alright, so these have been the Myth and Magic Volume 1, 2, and 3 books put out by Media Lab Publication. And you can find their stuff at onnewstandsnow.com. Alright, I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.